This is Kathy Bogan and I'm at Port Botany with Ian Rintoul who's a trade unionist for Palestine. Ian, could you tell us what's going on here tonight? Well, in the last 24 hours, the Ganges, it's a, a Zim ship which is carrying Zim containers. Zim is a very well-known Israeli company and very connected with the Israeli state, very much a supporter. It offered its services to the Israeli state for the conduct of the genocide. Zim shipping has actually been a target of protests at ports all around the world, in the United States, in Italy, Europe. Uh, there have been several demonstrations, including one early in December here, but also in Perth and in Melbourne. So we're here tonight because the Ganges is in. We're going to have a protest tonight. We're going to attend to actually prevent one of the shifts at the loading. Yeah. We're going to try and make it as hard as possible for those workers to actually get into the dock tonight. Zim shipping! Zim shipping! Zim shipping! Albanese! Penny Wong! in our lifetime, we have never seen such uh, horror on our doorstep across the world. Um, what's happening in Palestine is a crime against humanity. And we all know it. You can't wear that uniform and not believe that that's not the case. Well, I We're going to support the community. So you're going to have to arrest our members and officials of our union first. Kathy Vogan, Consortium News. Uh, what are the police threatening? They're saying that they're not going to allow any march or protest to proceed across the road here. All oh, right. If people do cross the road, they will be arrested. Well, he's just saying it. He's saying it's unlawful. Welcome comrades, we honour our First Nations brothers and sisters for allowing us to gather on their unstolen land to protest against the disgusting and appalling Zim shipping line. Always was, always will be for 76 years. The terrorist state of Israel has acted with complete impunity on a global level. For 76 years, Palestinians have lived under an oppressive and occupying military state. Backed with hundreds of billions of dollars funded by the United States, fueling a military machine aimed at ethnically cleansing Palestinians from their indigenous land. And since 1948, Palestinians have faced brutal massacres 
forced evictions, torture, rape, and beyond. Hundreds and thousands of Palestinian homes have been destroyed as Israel's greed and bloodlust has grown year after year. And Gaza, Gaza, the heart of Palestine, has faced countless massacres. And today, we stand here on stolen land as Gaza enters the 170th day of the current genocide. The terrorist state of Israel has massacred 40,000 Palestinians, including 15,000 children. Today, we heard news of women seeking shelter in Al Shifa Hospital being raped by Israeli soldiers. Forcing, forcing their husbands and men to watch their despicable crimes against humanity. Yes. A few weeks ago, we witnessed a flower massacre where Palestinians who are starving were attempting to seek aid and were shot by the terrorist state of Israel for simply trying to gather flour for their starving families. Yes. They've taken P Palestinian hostages forcing them on their knees for hours and hours on end, threatening to shoot them if they simply turn their head left or right. They made a man who was 70 years old battling cancer. They tied him, they tied him to a net and forced him to, to, to keep his eyes open. And when he didn't, they threatened to kill him and they beat him up. I don't need to go on about Israel's crimes against humanity. We've seen it over the last six months. We've seen the videos of the burnt babies, of the tortured babies, of the children in pieces. Do you need any more proof? No. Do you need any more proof that what Palestinians are facing is beyond what anyone can imagine? No. The people all around the world are uniting. They're rising up. They are rising up against the disgusting and terrorist state of Israel that is, that is decimating Palestinians day after day after day. The people are rising up and we will no longer remain silent. We will no longer stand on the sidelines. We will no longer watch as our children are blown into pieces. There is only one solution. What's the only solution? The power, the power is in our in our in ourselves. The power is in the people. And we will and Israel will be destroyed by the power of the people. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The world's humanity is at stake here. And if we don't act, there is nothing worth living for. There is nothing left in this world if we do not act and we don't speak up for the voiceless, for the tortured, for the beaten in Gaza. People in Gaza have resorted to eating grass so they can stay alive because of the forced starvation that Israel has imposed on them. There is no other option. We have no other option. Life cannot continue on as it was before. The people need to stand up, stand against the racist colonial powers of this world, stand up against the bullies in this country that have tried over the last six months to suppress our voices and make it seem like we're the crazy ones and we're the terrorist ones. Shame! Not anymore. Not anymore. If the last six months taught us anything, is that no institution, no institution around the world will free Palestine. It is in our hands. Now is the time to act. Now is the time to speak up. Now is the time to raise your voices for the people of Palestine. I'm honored to introduce our first speaker. Dr. Maureen Faruqi is the deputy leader of the Australian Greens and Senator for New South Wales. She became the first
Muslim woman to sit in any Australian parliament when she joined in 2013. Marine has been an unflinching voice on social, climate and racial justice. She has been the strongest voice for Palestine in Australian Parliament and has continuously called for an end to the occupation and apartheid. Please welcome Dr. Maureen Faruqi. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Peace be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam wa I acknowledge the sovereign owners of the lands we gathered on, the Bidjigal, Gwigal and Karagal people and pay my respects to elders past and present. We are on stolen land. Sovereignty was never ceded. This is, always was, and always will be Aboriginal land. <laughs> Comrades, thank you for coming together today to block the boat. <laughs> and thank you for showing up for Palestine every week, every weekend, without fail. Your solidarity is seen, your solidarity is appreciated, and I know that you won't stop until Palestine is free. Yeah! It's been 169 days of Israel's genocide on Gaza. 169 horror-filled days for Palestinians. More than 30,000 Palestinians have been slaughtered by Israel. More than one million, more than one million Palestinians are being starved by Israel. Yeah. Famine and disease loom large in the ruins of Gaza. That's the reality on the ground right at this moment. And how bereft, how bereft of humanity, of morality, of head and heart can the Labour government be to not do anything to stop these war crimes, this collective punish punishment, these atrocities and this genocide. How ruthless and cruel can you be? How ruthless and cruel can you be to aid, abet and arm Israel and support Israel for this genocide against Gaza. And this depravity, this immorality, this heartlessness exists right here in our government, in the Australian Labour government. And we are here today to give them yet again another loud and clear message. Not in our name. Not in our name. Not in our name. And if our governments fail to stop the genocide, we will act. We will act. We will not shy away from using our right to protest, our democratic right to protest. We have been marching on the streets for months. We have been pro protesting in parks for months. We have been protesting in parliaments. We have been picketing outside the Prime Minister's office for weeks on end. And we will not stop doing that. You know, no matter how much, no matter how much they roll their eyes, no matter how much they try and disparage us, remember one thing, you are on the right side of history. Yes. yes. And you, you, you know, you know, and remember this, you have the moral clarity and the courage that's so, that is so deeply lacking in our so-called leaders in the Labour Party and in the Labour government. You are holding up a mirror to them. They don't like what they see. That's why they want to stop you. Shamefully, that is why They've unleashed the police force to intimidate peaceful protesters. Shame! Shamefully, that is why they use the draconian anti-protest laws. Anti-protest laws to create fear. To create fear and to stop you again. And to undermine democracy in this country. Shamefully, that's why we have seen 
police crackdown after police crackdown, just even the last couple of days, on peaceful protests. Absolute shame. But you know what? These tactics are used to intimidate, to scare us. These are aggressive tactics and we condemn them. We condemn these police tactics and we condemn the Labour government for using these tactics to stop protesters from standing up against genocide. My solidarity is with every single person who is risking their safety and their freedom to stand up with Palestinians and to stand up against Israel's genocide. My solidarity is with the unions and with the communities who are showing and using their people power to support Palestinians. Israel should not be allowed to continue on with business as usual as they slaughter Palestinians. Yes, yes. Israel is a genocidal apartheid state. And you know, we must cut ties with Israel. So no aid, no aid, no assistance, no arms, no trade. And Israeli companies, Israeli companies who align with Israel's war crimes and war machine like Zim shipping should never be welcome in this country. And we will continue, we will continue to call for sanctions. We will continue to boycott. We will continue to protest. And we will demand an end to this genocide and apartheid. And we will not stop, we will not stop until Palestine is free. Yeah. The people united will never be defeated. 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 As Maureen said, we have an inherent right to protest. We have a right to be on the streets screaming at every opportunity we get. This is not normal what is happening in Palestine. And the terrorist state of Israel is relying on us to become desensitized, for their atrocities to become normalized. They are relying on us to be tired. They are relying on us to get used to the fact that 40,000 Palestinians slaughtered in a period of six months is normal. It is not normal. We have a right to protest. We have a right to peacefully protest Zim shipping. Zim is the oldest and largest shipping company in Israel. Zim has played an integral role in the colonization of Palestine. It has remained central to the operations of Israel's war machine by transporting weapons to the Israeli military. The same weapons that are raining down on the people of Gaza as we speak. We demand, we demand them shipping is excluded from operating in all ports in Australia. Israel must be sanctioned for its genocidal war in Gaza and its continuing illegal occupation of Palestinian land and its imposition of apartheid. Before I pass on to the next speaker, I will say this. Qawim, thumma qawim, thumma qawim, thumma qawim. Resist, and then resist, and then resist, and then resist again. Here. My name's Nat. I'm a member of the Maritime Union of Australia and Trade Unionist for Palestine. We know, there's, we know there's people here from a range of trade unions. I can see the flags. I can see the faces. We know there's been acts of defiance in everybody's workplaces and mass mobilisations across cities. And we have to keep up that pressure because while children are being bombed, while cities are being raised, it cannot be business as usual for Zim shipping. 
today, comrades, friends, just to let you know, we have people with orange vests around the crowd acting as welfare people. If you need anything, please check in with them. If you're here alone, please make a friend. Let them know your name. Let them know where you're going to be after this. And we all assemble here. We stay here and safe together, okay? Is everybody there? We're safe. We're here. Just want to let you know one thing. If there is a situation where a friend of yours is arrested, please find someone in an orange vest and let them know. We're hoping that doesn't happen here tonight, so we are going to stay safe, but that's the process. Find someone in a vest, they'll log that name, and we'll work from there. Thank you. It is an honour to introduce our next speaker, who's been a staunch advocate, not just for Palestinians, but for all oppressed people around the world. Please welcome Paul Keating, Secretary of the Sydney Branch of the MUA. Uh, comrades, uh, firstly, I want to also acknowledge the traditional land of the people that we uh, meet here today. Pay our respects to their elders. Uh, and it is so important to understand the brutality that is faced with First Nations peoples all over the world. We continue to fight for uh, the struggles for our First Nations peoples. And what we know is the brutality of colonialism and imperialism. And we're here because of the genocide, uh, the uh, indiscriminate um, horror that is unfolding on the other side of the world in Gaza and the occupied territories. And uh, from the MUA, I want to send this message first to all our communities, to you comrades and to all our communities. We stand with the Palestinian people. We stand in struggle with the Palestinian people until they have their right to self-determination. And we're here, like we have, as working class men and women and communities throughout the generations, when we fought the hatred and the indiscrimination of the ruling class. Uh, and Zionism is a hateful, hateful ideology. It's a political ideology, and it must be stopped. We stand with our communities in our right to fight for political change. So I call firstly on all politicians, but firstly on the federal Labor government, Albanese, you must put on sanctions now on Israel. Yeah. It's a terrorist state. It's an apartheid state. It's a criminal state. On behalf of the MUA, we stand with our communities and throughout the generations we fought against the establishment who have supported apartheid, like we've seen with South Africa, like we've seen with the wars that have forced ordinary working class men and women like ourselves and our communities into the most desperate of situations. We oppose war. Peace is union business. And this is our business. And that's why the MUA is here. So that we send the message. And I want to send a message from our members to you. I'm a Wolfie. From here, Paul Botney. From Patrick's. These are my comrades and yours and they stand with you. I say to the Minns government here in New South Wales, stand on the side of the communities that voted you in. Abolish the anti-protest laws. Or you will pay at the, at the next election. You deserve to be thrown out and every politician that does not stand on the side of our communities. This will be a lesson for the Labor Party as well as the Conservative parties. And we must mobilise and not let up. This, and I'm amongst comrades from Palestine here, um, sincerely comrades, fraternally from the MUA, we are with you and we are with your communities, we're with your families, and we are with the people of Palestine. Yeah. I want you to know. Chris Minns needs to be called out as the conservative and the supporter of Zionism. 
You can't have a political party that says we stand on the side of our First Nations peoples and their right to self-determination and not stand on the side of all First Nations, all Indigenous, the world over. Yeah. And the Palestinian people are the Indigenous people of Palestine. Yeah. I call on every trade union leader in union to come on side with our communities, with the Palestinian communities, and fight. Mobilise and fight. Come out in the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands, the millions. We need to now start mobilising to change this world. And the only thing that the ruling class know, and the ship owners know, is when we stop capital. So as, as the Asia Pacific International Dockers Council Zone Coordinator, I say this on behalf of all our affiliates in this region. We are mobilising. We are standing alongside our communities across oceans when the communities come down to our docks and put on pickets. Put on community pickets. A docker will not cross a picket. And we are building like we did against South African apartheid. We are building for that change to take on the system that destroys the dignity of life. I call on the Albanese government also immediately to put on arms embargoes, both imports and exports, on Israel. That must be the case. We have in this country uh, secrecy laws that don't give workers the knowledge, the right to know what they're moving. And that is an absolute disgrace. Never used to be the case, but I want to congratulate the Greens Party, uh, especially for standing on the line with our communities and the Courage Marine and all our comrades there who come out time and again uh, calling out the political system, the political establishment. But I say to all of you, I'm from Western Sydney. All those politicians out there, make sure you vote them out if they don't stand on the side of the Palestinian people. And I say this lastly, to the ship owners, to the international shipping, you don't want pickets and protest in your ports, declare that you will not move any Israeli made or owned goods and you won't have it. If you don't do that, you will see this again and again and again and again. Solidarity with you all comrades, let's fight until we win. Justice for Palestine, justice for the people of Gaza. From the river to the sea. All power to you, Cato. All power to you. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Free, free Palestine. 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 Free, free Palestine.
in a land, on a stolen land, on a stolen land like the Palestinian land. 1948, the Nakba, Palestinians were ethnically cleansed. They were massacred. The lands were stolen. They were kicked out of Palestine. For 75 years, Palestinians have been suffering in the diaspora, inside the refugee camps. In Gaza, 85% of Gaza population are refugees from stolen cities in Israel. In apartheid Israel, in the genocidal barbaric state that is Israel. And this is why we're here, when sending a message loud and clear to Israel, to the Israel's enablers, the apartheid enablers, the likes of this government, this shameful government, Shame. our shameful Shame. politicians. Shame. The apartheid enablers, organizations like Zim Shipping, we're sending this message loud and clear. We don't want you here in Australian land. Yeah. As Australians, as Palestinians, as human, we don't want you to be here. Israel is a barbaric state. It's a terrorist state. Dismantle apartheid Israel is the main message today. Cease fire now. Stop, stop the massacres. Stop the killing of children. We are peacefully demonstrating here to stop the genocide, the bloodshed in Palestine. And we will never back down until this barbarism is stopped, until apartheid Israel is dismantled, until Israel is no longer existing, until liberation is achieved. From the river to the sea, equal rights for Jewish people, for Christian people, for Muslim people, for everyone. No to barbarism, no to genocidal state like Israel. We need to boycott Israel. We need to cut military ties with Israel. We need to cut economic ties with Israel. We need to make apartheid Israel the pariah state that it should be. And this is what we We no longer stand, we can no longer stand this genocide, this barbarism as human, as Australians, as human beings, seeing children torn to pieces, torn to pieces and our politicians are paying lip service to the Zionist entity here. Shame on every single one who doesn't react to what's happening in Gaza. People are sheltering in tents. People are assembling their family's members under the rubble. Shame on you! Shame on you for stopping us! Shame on you! We will never back down! Same shipping line out of Port Putney and out of Australia. We will continue to come here. We will continue to demonstrate, to inject some decency in the police force system, in the political system, in the economic system of Australia until you take responsibility as a human being. And from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. But Israel is a terrorist state. 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 desperation in our community and we're not backing down we cannot back down we cannot stop action we cannot stop working for those people for innocent people who are being massacred every day shame on the Australian system shame on Balkanese shame on Christians shame. we're here to send a loud message no to racism no to barbarism no to genocide, and we're here to say, Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine!
spoken. The Australian people have spoken for seven months. They have been flooding the streets of Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane and everywhere. We need the government, we need the establishment to listen to us. 
and this is the best we can do. We need Zim Shipping Line to be boycotted, to be out of Port Botany until Palestine is free of this racism, this genocidal entity that is Zionism. Shame on you for stopping us. Shame on you for trying to stand us down. Shame on you. Don't you see the kids that are getting killed every day? Australia. Same shipping out of 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 Australia. Same shipping out of